Hey guys, sorry, this is a real life. I'm gonna be doing, like, I'm gonna do his medicine. This is for this little baby gecko. This little sweet boy. His, his tail is a little fat. His belly is like But, yeah. Oh, there's stuff all over your face. Oh, back up. Come here, kid. We're gonna do his medicine, and then I'm gonna be doing a little video on how to treat him. I did a video on how to do his medicine, but I'm gonna talk about him. Yeah, I, I was bad. I did that video just for fun, cause you know, maybe like if you're the vet, you, they do diagnose it with what he has, then it could be, you know, like helpful. But like if the doctor will probably tell you what to do. I'm just mad. Yeah. Sometimes when I give him a look, because he don't like it. <laughs> well, sometimes you're really cute. He loves me doing this. This is like his favorite. That's what he does when he wants it. He just opens his eyes. Does that feel good? That does feel good. Let's get the second one out. I'm going to put you right there. You're going to probably climb up, climb up my claws. To give your gecko food, which I'm going to be doing in this video. So, oh my goodness, you're going to call me. No, he's gecko, no! No, 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 I was thinking he had only um, two since he has two infections. So maybe it's just like for safety precautions. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put this down here. You're gonna be mad again. I always know it. Sorry, my mom's doing her little mask. And they're also watching Luca, good my brother and sister are watching Luca, that made me hate. Okay, so I'm gonna be talking to you about him. Let me clean this up. You can all see my brother in the background. Where the cap goes on it? I dropped the cap! Uh-oh. I don't know where it went. <laughs> Mom. I dropped the cap. Dang it, I'm gonna try to find it. Oh my gosh. I don't even hear it fall. Oh my goodness. Oh, I found it. Let me get it. It's so under the table. Okay. Screw this on. What's wrong with your leg, bud? If y'all want, like, we might need to take this leg and hang it. Like, I don't even know. Like, look. Guys, look. Where is it? Look at his leg. See, it's like hurt. I don't know. See, it's like hurt. I mean, like, he's doing everything fine, so. I am um, gonna ask my mom if that. Hey, mom. What's going on with the Yeah, and I mean, we were just... I only watch a few of the good videos. I watch Snake's Discovery. It's a really good video. I love her videos. They're so cute. Okay, so we're going to be talking about Ollie, which is my little leopard gecko. I don't know why I call him little, little uh, baby little gecko. Uh, because 
She's not a baby. I think they become adults three months. After three months. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, and act, but actually this year. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff. Your your eco earth is all over here. Because I'm like, let's wait. Go to the pool and I'm gonna like, you know. Sorry, the eco earth is just like all over him. But I mean, we grow. We literally grow through. Yeah. So one thing that you do not want to do with your geckos is you don't want to when you're picking them up don't grab them by their tail they will lose their tail do not do that it takes like a year to regrow so do not i say do not pick them up and grab them by their tail the correct way to pick them up is if they're sitting like this you put go your thumb under your, your belly and then you wrap your fingers around them don't do it like squeezing just do it like really really soft like watch yeah See how I will, see how I grabbed him, he's mad. See how I grabbed yeah. him, I didn't grab him by the tail, I grabbed him like this. He's like, what? It really so that is one thing that you do not want to do with a whooping your tail, is you do not want to grab them by their tail. It could rip their tail off, they could get stressed, and they could let go of their tail. They would regrow another one, that's just, it's bad for the gecko. Because I think they lose their food, but I don't know how they regrow it, maybe? I don't know, but they do lose their tails, so do not do that. Second thing that you want to know about a Lightbird gecko is do not, I say do not get a mat, one of those reptile mats for any of your like animals, like any reptile. Like bearded dragons, like your geckos, um, snakes, do not get that. You have to clean it every single week. Every single week. So I recommend getting Eco Earth, which is a type of substrate which I use for him. It is very good. You have to clean it every six months. So that's really good about reptiles. You have to clean that every six months. So, then the third thing you do not want to do with your little gecko is you do not leave their food without calcium or like, you know, any type of vitamin D or vitamin A, vitamin B, stuff like that. Do not leave it without any of like vitamins in it. I use calcium powder, which is made for him, and I put it on his mealworms and feed it to him. Do not give them calcium powder. I mean, give them calcium powder or any type of thing that's like made for them. It, it should say like on the bottle, reptiles, it's made for lumpy geckos, snakes, stuff like that. It should be made like that. Like do not give them it without it because they don't get the nutrients they need. I mean, the mealworms give them the nutrients, but they need nutrients like that has vitamin B, vitamin B, vitamin A, stuff like that. So that is the third thing. The fourth thing is if they are sick, you need to take them to the vet. Like, I personally, I didn't know what was going wrong, so I left him and his thing that he would get better after like two weeks and he's getting better so we pulled him back at the point and we took him and had an infection and a mouth infection but, so like but if y'all saw his other eye do you see his other if y'all saw his other eye his other eye was like it was so close to opening it was like that I'm like it's so close I was so so happy that it was so open so yeah we're going to be making a little food tray on something that I do daily with my Lumpur Gecko. So, oh, my sister's crying because I think Luca, oh, he was, oh, Alberto, whatever his name is, Alberto, he would, they, he, uh, Luca was going to school and my sister's crying. It's yeah. alright, baby. <laughs> alright, so let's go make this food thing, thingy, my jiggy, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go put him back in his tank, and then we will feed it to him when we're done. I personally, since he's sick and his mouth hurts, I have to shove it down his throat. That's what the vet said to do. And, yeah. So, let me just put him back. Get your little log go inside. There. Move your face. Down. So, let me show you first 
the cage right there, okay? It's a 10 gallon tank, I know I'm 20, but we're gonna wait just a little bit for him. And he's right there, I see him. Yeah, this is an eco earth stuff. So, it's $10 at PetSmart. This is, I was gonna do a PetSmart haul, but I'm like, no. Okay, so how it works is, if you look right on this spot right here, it says on how to do it, and what you do is you put, you put it in there like a bucket or something, or like a bowl, and then you put water in it, leave it for 30 minutes, and then you put it in their tank. So, that's how you do that, if y'all want to know. Alright, let's go make this food recipe for him. So, basically, it's basically mealworms and calcium powder, but it's a different way that I do it, because I have the giant mealworms, the gut-loaded ones. Uh, where are the mealworms? Okay, I was going to say, where are they? I'm going to get the giant ones. These are the, I have two things of giant mealworms. But we're just going to be using the small bag, the little batch of the small one. I got these yesterday because the ones I had, they were, I was making them and then they, they were covered, I mean covered in flipping. I really don't want to tell you because it might gross y'all out. They were covered in mold. So these are one of the big ones. They don't really look like that. That's just one of the ones that are light. I don't feed him the light ones. I feed him these. Let me show you. They're starting to shed, so I'm trying to get it off because that's not what you're supposed to feed your little gecko. Yeah, so for the fifth one, do not, I mean fourth or fifth, do not feed them mealworm shed. I'm serious. It can make them sick, and it could hurt them or something, I think. Yes, it could hurt them. So, let's get the tray to make it. And then I'm going to get my calcium powder. Okay, so we got the tray. Now, I'm going to go get the calcium powder that you need to make. Can you show it all? is Repcal. It has calcium with vitamin D3. It is for all reptiles and amphibians. It's got a little, looks like a leopard gecko. I don't know, bearded dragon. I use this Repcal. Repcal? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead, what I do is I take the tray. I'm going to go ahead and put like one mealworm and I will show y'all. I put one mealworm, and then I take my calcium powder, and I take it and I just sprinkle it on top of it, not too much, and then I roll it around in it. It may be just a little bit excess on the outside, but that's okay. So then let me show you, see how it's rolled around in the calcium powder? That's what you want to do with your gecko. And then I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna feed him this white one. I don't recommend feeding him those, but you know, I mean, this one's alive. That one's alive too. It's just it's not moving. So we're gonna do the same thing. Just sprinkle the calcium powder on there. And then you're gonna roll it around. Try to spread out. That one. There we go. Okay. And then I like to do five a day since he's really skinny on his tail. Y'all, you're supposed to do, I think, three a day for a adult leopard gecko. For a baby leopard gecko, you do two or one a day. Since they're really small, I'm just putting the dead ones to the side because I know they're dead. Here's one, and some of them are really small in here, like this one. It's gut loaded, but it's small. Some of the ones are like really long. So we're gonna do the same thing, put it down, get some calcium powder, and sprinkle it on top. 
just a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna roll it around. Get it off my fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. There we go. Okay, now two more. Let's get two more out of this little bowl. Um, I might have to go get my other one. Okay. Oh, there's one. I picked it right up. There we go. Let me show y'all. Let's see if he's alive. You, the one thing, oh, one thing to keep your mealworms a lot, one thing that I need to show you how to get your mealworm to wake up is you grab them by the tail. You grab them like this, and if they don't move, then they're dead. So that one's dead. Like, watch with this one. This one, let me show you. This one looks like it's dead, doesn't it? It looks like it's just sitting there dead. But then if you pick it up by its tail,